this is another I just bought it so when he went to turn it over the starter was grinding on the flywheel and it was it actually wore the teeth out on the ring gear on the flywheel but the funny thing is is they put shims on the starter to get it away from the flywheel and you never use shims on a marine starter and they had that solenoid there for some reason so where we were going with this project is we put a new starter on without the shims hoping We're starting to process pulling the motor. Here's his drive. You can see the boots are in full of water. This is supposedly a one owner boat. We found some really unique stuff with it. But here's the inside of his U uh, joint bellows. And you can tell it's consistently had water in it because you've got the rust lines. The gimbal was hammered in. I don't know if you can see the hammer mark. So whoever put the gimbal bearing in whenever they did that didn't have an installation tool to put it in correctly. So they just used a long punch and punched it in there. But it is rusty and completely seized. So if the starter had worked, it really turned out to be a good thing that um, uh, it didn't work because we wouldn't have inspected this, pulled the drive to inspect it. And with the gimbal bearing locked up, that's just not good. You'd spend the gimbal bearing in the house and then you have to pull the motor anyway because it'll ruin the uh, transom plate. So we're gonna pull the motor and uh, uh, put a ring gear on the motor and then put the starter back on that should be good but then we need to address the issues we found here and so there shouldn't be water inside of there and it can't have that gimbal bearing in there I'm not sure what we're gonna find out next but it's that I just bought it so here we are <laughs> 